A huge Christmas welcome to Steve's Kitchen. It's that time of year again when I make my own homemade mince meat. Now, if you're going to be making mince pies over the Christmas period, I urge you to make your own mince meat. Not only does it taste absolutely delicious, uh, much nicer than the store-bought ones, but also it's a lot cheaper if you make your own. It's called mince meat because originally it used to be little cubes of meat with added dried fruit and spices in there. Over the years, it's developed to be more of a fruit, but it still does have some meat by way of suet, which is an animal fat. And if you haven't got suet, I made it on my channel a couple of days back. It really elevates the flavor of mince meat. I'd urge you to give it a try. There are vegetarian versions out there go for it if that's what you want, but really proper mince meat should be made with suet. So if you're ready, let's get started. You're gonna want about 2.2 pounds or a kilo of dried fruits. Any fruits will do. It's convenient to buy it in these packs. This has got the candied peel in, it's got glacé cherries, it's got lots of raisins and currants. It's pretty much perfect. I'm gonna pop this into a bowl. We'll put the whole bag into a mixing bowl. I mean, you can see just how much mince meat we're going to be creating, but trust me, you're going to use all of this. 250 grams, that's about nine ounces of soft brown sugar. And we just pop that in there as well over the fruit. Next is this beautiful suet. We've got 175 grams, that's about six ounces. Now, if you don't want to use suet, you could use grated butter coated in a little bit of flour. For our spices, we want a teaspoon of cinnamon and two teaspoons of mixed spice. And I'm also gonna be putting some nutmeg in there as well. And I love fresh nutmeg. Now I'm probably gonna use almost a whole nutmeg here. I'm just gonna grate it. It's not just about dried fruit though. We've got three Granny Smith apples, a couple of oranges, which I'm gonna use the zest and the juice from, and a couple of big lemons, which also I'm taking the zest off of and using the juice. Now I've got Granny Smith's here. If you can get hold of cooking apples or Bramley apples, you should go for it. They are absolutely delicious. Now we want to just quarter our apples and that allow us just to trim the core out of them. And then what we want to do is just cut this up into small cubes. So I'll get on and do this and you can come back in a moment. So skins on, we've got all our apples beautifully cut up there. Add it into the bowl with our other ingredients. Now with our citrus fruits, our orange and lemons, we want all of the zest off. So I want you to uh, grate off the zest and get every last bit of it into the bowl. Now with that beautiful lemon zest as well. Now it helps if you've got a juicer, I haven't got one with me. We're just gonna take the juice of this lemon and I'm gonna squeeze it. I'll do it into my hand and I'll just uh, catch any pips as it goes through. Although, to be honest, if the pips get in there, it won't matter. And same with our orange juice. We want all that beautiful orange juice in the bowl. How gorgeous does that look? And it smells so good. You've got to get your hands in here now and just turn this through. We want to actually mix all the ingredients together. And it's already starting to smell like mince meat. Now we take our mince meat, get yourself a baking tray and just pour the mince meat straight into the baking tray. Now, where else could you get that much mince meat for under $10? I'm just going to level this out. You want to have your oven on a nice low heat, 225 Fahrenheit, that's 110 Celsius. So it's a low oven. So you want to completely cover your tray over, just pinch down the sides to get a nice tight seal on there. Putting the foil on will let the steam trap in there and cook the mince meat nice. We're gonna cook this on that low temperature for about two hours, two and a half hours. And then when it's ready, the house is gonna absolutely smell like Christmas. It's gonna be delicious. Anyway, I'll see you back here when it's done. Now my mince meat has been in the oven for a couple of hours, just over. I'm gonna take it out. It will be quite hot and steam will come out. So be careful. We're just gonna lift back the foil. Oh, look at that. Forget just looking how good that looks. The smell now, if you were here, is so delicious. And this has cooked through underneath. You've got all those beautiful, rich spice syrups. I'm in heaven now. This smells so good. The citrus, the spices.
We're going to enhance this even more now. You can use a brandy or I'm going to be using a fortified wine or sherry. There are some people that won't want to put alcohol, but if you're really not anti-alcohol, I'd still put it in. It really adds a flavor. You're not going to get drunk from this stuff, but the flavors are going to be great. I'm going to put in about a quarter of a cup of a really beautiful sherry. And as I say, I do normally use brandy and then mix this through. I mean, the smells are getting better and better. Now, if you take a little bit of this mince meat now, and be careful, there's hot sugars in here, so it will be hot, but I just want to have a little try. It smells so good. Oh, man. And the beauty of this is it's going to get more and more flavorsome over the coming weeks. So when we get nearer to Christmas and we start making those mince pies, they're going to be so delicious. I can tell you this makes a great Christmas gift. If you put it in a pretty little jar, put a ribbon around it, hand it to someone for Christmas, they are going to absolutely love you. For now though, I've got some sterilized mason jars or kilner jars here, and I'm just gonna put my mince meat straight into them while it's hot. I filled up two jars to the brim and I've still got probably double that in here, so it's gonna be a great Christmas. You know, I've forgotten which size jars these are. If you know what they are, let me know. I will look it up and put it in the comments down below. We're gonna have a great Christmas. We are gonna be making mince pies very soon on the channel, so look forward to that. Be good, have a wonderful Christmas, everybody. Love to you all, and I'll see you in the upcoming episode of Steve's Kitchen. Mm -hmm.